What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. Brand new? Today I'm going to be unboxing every Cypher album. Cypher were a seven member K-pop group that debuted in March of 2021. Why do I have an unopened version of every Cypher album? If you guys know me at all, or you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I have a small little thing for a man named Kater. Tiny. <laughs> He's pretty small. Itty -bitty. No, we should look up his height, actually. I'm gonna do it. 170. So, got him. Got him on that. Kater debuted in Cypher back in 2021. He then joined Boys Planet and unfortunately didn't make the final lineup for Zero Base One and is now in the group even. My obsession with Kater has grown so much over the last year and on a whim, I decided that I was gonna show my support and buy all of Cypher's albums. Here is the first one. This is Cypher's first mini album that came out on March 15th, 2021. It's a really nice photo of the seven of them here inside the Cypher logo. And you've got all of their names down the side here. Tag, Keita, Wan, Hyunbin, Doan, Tan, and Hui. Out of the seven here, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, and he's gone. There's actually only three members of Cypher left, including Keita. So let's get into this. I'm so excited. I actually almost bought this album when it came out, but at the time there were so many groups debuting and I was trying to not get into, you know, tens and tens of groups. So this one went by the wayside, unfortunately. Oh, this is pretty cool. I always like it when they have like a member specific card at the front. This must have them on the other side. Yeah, that's cool. So you can have like two versions. You could have it like this and have him at the front instead of the group. I like that, that's cool. One, nice photo. I quite like this like magnetic-y type packaging. That's really nice. I'm always scared that like photo cards are just gonna fall out and then I'm gonna see them. Oh no, okay. Is there anything here? Nope, <laughs> okay. So that's just a... Uh... I like how you gave it a little bit of CPR there. What? Yeah. Damn it, <laughs> so everything must be in this book then. So yeah, I'm scared I'm gonna open it and photo card's gonna fly out. Usually when I'm opening an album, I like to keep all the inclusions to the side and like go through the photo book first and you know, get that whole experience done and then look at the inclusions with the photo cards right at the end. I guess I like saving the best for last. Oh God, okay. Okay, it seems like everything's in the back here. Oh, all right. Let's leave that and look at the photo book first. CD. I really like these colors actually. The dark blue and the light blue. Got a list of the songs here. The title track, it's written in Hangul here, but it's called I Like You. Now this song I think was quite divisive. A lot of people didn't like it at all. The problem that people had with it is that it was quite cringy. The first time I heard it, I really didn't like it either. I thought that the auto-tune was overly done and the song was just not very catchy. But as I listened to it more, I actually really started liking it and I still listen to it this day. It's still a banger. I don't remember exactly what the concept was for this. Oh yeah, I do remember this storage room. A lot of the music video was set in this kind of warehouse. All the members were just like running around. I think they were pushing each other in trolleys and like throwing things around. I think they were supposed to be like warehouse workers or something, just, you know, shooting the shit. Oh, this is actually really weird to see them. Like to see Kata like with these guys and not even. So this is Tag. Tag was one of the members that left in August 2023. He's now actually part of the group One Pact, which is kind of interesting because the other members of One Pact are all contestants that were on Boys Planet. He was originally supposed to be on Boys Planet, and I'm not sure why, but he ended up dropping out just before the filming started. He's very talented at composing and songwriting, so he actually did a lot of work behind the scenes for Cypher, which he is now doing as part of One Pact. This is interesting stuff. A lot of people don't know this stuff. <laughs> I didn't know anything. <laughs> Here he is. This is the reason why I bought all these bloody albums, Keita, in the flesh. He looks so different, especially in this photo. What the hell? I guess the blue hair is a bit different and he's a lot younger. 
Ah, so cute. Now I'm just like flicking past the other members. I feel bad that I'm like skimming through the rest of the members, but I don't really know a lot about the other ones. I know that one of them now has a solo comeback. This guy actually. Yeah, he had like a solo debut at the end of last year, um, but I don't, actually don't think I ended up checking it out. <laughs> Rip. Ah, oh, and here's like the second concept photos. Orange, why do I hate orange so much? I really don't like people wearing orange. <laughs> Here he is. He's not wearing orange. That was for me. That was 100% for me. Little messages there. See, he is small. You can see he's like shorter than everyone else. In the white shirt. Standing very far forward. To make him look taller. <laughs> Because <laughs> if he was back there, he'd look even smaller. Oh, all three of them are involved in this one. I think because they're all the rappers, Tag Cater one, they were involved in the, the lyrics. But yeah, you can see composed by Tag, which is kind of unusual, especially for like a rookie debut group for one of the members to be involved in the composing. This song as well. This song. Yeah, like they were, a lot of them were really um, involved in the composing and writing, which is pretty cool. Let's look at the inclusions. Okay, so we've got some stickers here. These are kind of nice. Very like papery though. Wow. All the members' faces, some random words that don't mean anything. What, what am I supposed to do with these? Look. Wow. Wow. Where do I put these? Lol. There you go, some nice stickers. And it looks like we get like a little standee. These things are kind of weird. There you go. And now you have a little standing cardboard cutout of your favorite person. Oh, you're supposed to like glue it or something to make it stay. So we got Doan. Nice. Oh, it's got like a little strip. <laughs> Don't be silly. Should I make it? It's going against everything I stand for. All right, I'll just do it. For the video! Oh God, I've done that really shit because I was doing it by looking in the camera. That's all right. There we go. I can just sit there for the rest of the video. If I... So I was like looking at the camera. <laughs> no, I don't want to bend it too much. Oh my God. Oh my God, you, you will not believe. Look what I just pulled! I actually got him. I honestly thought I was gonna go through this whole video and like not pull any of his photo cards, but that has really just set us off on a really great journey here. Watch me not get anything else of his, but at least we got one. At least we got one. This photo card is so cute too. I'm so excited. Look, <laughs> we got it. That's great. Got his name on the back there, signature, and a little message that I can't read as per usual. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I love K-pop. I love K-pop. Do you know that as well? Their TikToks, everyone was like, oh my God, this mum and daughter have been kidnapped. They're being held against their will in a room. They're being watched. It's like trafficking and all this shit. So weird. Yeah. <laughs> so people have found out that the door seen in all of her videos has this little lock on it. Now, nobody is really sure what the lock is for. <laughs> What's her name? Like Bebop or something. BB, Bebop. 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 <laughs> She'll probably change her name to that to be like more Korean or something. This is like clam openings, you know, you have to check that you haven't missed any of the pearls. No, oh, that's it. Well, there we go, that was amazing. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't think I can ever say that normally now. I should have brought some sleeves. It would have been cool if we got him here as well, but that's okay, we take what we can get. Gonna hold on to that. <laughs> it's part of the inclusions. Oh, <laughs> that's upside down. Cypher's first album, everyone. So this is the second one. This is Cypher's second mini album that was released on September 28th, 2021, called Blind. That was also the name of the title track. This is looking a lot more um, simple and sleek compared to the first one. None of that vibrant color, just very, yeah, black and white. Got all the song titles here. I said Blind was the title track. This is a really great title track, actually. I think it still sounded like Cypher, but it was a lot more mature and not so auto-tuned, which was good. But uh, you can see Rain here. I haven't really spoken about what company Cypher under, 
but they are under Rain Company. Now, if you are a K-pop stan, which you probably are because you're watching this video, you'll know who Rain is. He is kind of a K-pop idol in his own right, but he started his own company a while ago and Cypher was his brand new project in 2021 that he was really excited about at the start. But in the past, he had mismanaged a couple of previous groups. So people were very concerned about how he was gonna treat these new idols. And people's worries were founded. He really did not look after Cypher at all during these early years. There was barely any promotion especially for the second and third comebacks. Cypher had very limited fan interaction options, so they weren't really on any of the communication platforms, and so fans felt very disconnected from them. Fan engagement is so important for K-pop groups, especially in their early years. If you're not getting those fans to really connect with these idols, they're just gonna be forgotten. It also really seemed that Rain was using Cypher to kind of like prop up his own career. Like he was using them as kind of the front, but he would attend all these events with them and try and make it all about him. And people were very, very upset about it. You know this trick where you can, well, it's not gonna work for me now because I'm on camera. Let me try the other side. There we go. That's a little, uh, little tip for you there. Doesn't work 100% of the time. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. This one looks like it's a slide situation. Ooh, that's cool. I actually wasn't expecting to see that for some reason. A little gold holographic heart there. That's super cute. But then it opens that way. Okay, so do I have to turn it around now? <laughs> All right, again, I'm scared that inclusions are just gonna fall out. No, we're okay. Oh, this is really pretty actually. I like all this gold detailing. Very different vibe from the first one. Mature and a bit more chic. Let me try and figure out where the inclusions are for now. Okay, I think they're just like in the middle. They spread out or they're all in one place. Okay, let me see if I can. <laughs> this is the, the never ending like issues of a K-pop stand. I don't know if other people are like me, but I really don't like to see the inclusions off the bat. I like to have a look at the, the album first. Let's have a quick look. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> All right, there we go. I swear I thought they were only in that one spot. Oh fuck, god damn it. I haven't been able to see them though, so it's all right. Oh, okay, this is this is cool. I remember when he had this hair. So this is Kata again, if you uh, haven't realized. <laughs> that is who we bought all these albums for. Um, I really like this hair, that's cool. And that is quite a uh, suggestive pose. They're all just in bed. This guy is like so buff, what the hell? I think this guy is actually quite a lot older than the others. I think he was born in like 1996 or something. And he was on the show that formed Monster X. So that also does show like that he's a bit older. And then I think after he failed at getting into Monster X, he just went to the military and then ended up in Cypher. I like this picture of Tag and Kata together. I think they're probably still pretty good friends, which is nice. Kata. Oh, that smile is kind of weird. Doesn't like match the vibe of everything else. Oh, well, yeah, now they're all just doing random weird smiling. They're involved so much in the songwriting process. And then just random office photos. <laughs> okay. There's literally like four pages at the back of them just working in office. All right, Slay. So, oh, that's like stuck on there. I don't like that. Ew. I'm doing CPR again. And there's a heart. <laughs> there's a lot. Like there's a lot. They were just spread out throughout the whole thing. So this first thing is just a, <laughs> I don't know, a window photo card? That's kind of random. So it's like a unit. I don't really know what you're supposed to do with this. Maybe a little postcard, send it to your friends. What do you think this is supposed to be used for? Trash. <laughs> Landfill. Okay, three photo cards. Interesting. And then this that says pull here. Okay. Guess who? It's 10. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. That's cute. 
<laughs> like that. Oh, I feel like I'm going to break it. Is this more landfill? That's not a photo cut in there, it's just a little... No, it's just like a little... I don't know, I can't see how it's... Yeah, like that's just like printed on that back piece of cardboard. It's kind of cute though. I feel like it would be better if it was a photo card, you know? So it's like, who did you get? And it's like, yay! And then you can somehow get it out without breaking the shit out of it. All right, which one should we go for first? These two have the same background and then this one has something different. It's like hollow. All right, let's go for this one first because it's different. Oh, there we go. It's like, a, I don't know. It's like a little hollow ID type card. This isn't like a proper photo card. Yeah, it's more like an ID card type thing. No idea who that is. Hui? I'm sorry, I don't know all the members very well. Do we reckon we're going to get Keita? What do you think? Do you think we're going to get him again? No! Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go. No, we did not. <laughs> this is cute though. Poke. Yeah, so these are like more proper photo cards. You can tell, you can see the difference. I thought this jacket was Louis Vuitton at the start, but it's not. All right, we've got one more chance. Let's go. You gotta pray to Lord Tame. Or what if we like rub this on here? <laughs> K-pop stands do some weird shit to try and like pull their bias. All right, let's go. Kata! Oh my God, it actually is! <laughs> this honestly seems like I planned this, but I did it. Oh my God. This is crazy. This one is even cuter than the other one. It's got a little pouty face. Oh my God. Lord Taemin has blessed us. That's actually crazy. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen me unseal these, right? Like if I was gonna fake it, I would have made all the inclusions him, right? Like all of this shit, this would be guess who? Oh, it's Kate. Oh, but it wasn't, it was 10. Oh my God, that's crazy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh, these sound like they've got heaps in them. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I know, I'm, I'm always complaining like, oh, my inclusions come damaged. And then I'm just like shaking my albums and shit. Album three. This is the third mini album from Cypher called The Code. And this was the first album where they actually had two different versions. So we have the dot and the dash version. Very Cypher-y very puzzle, very maze, much maze. So the code came out in May, 2022, a whole eight months after the album we just looked at. So Cypher went missing for eight whole months and everyone thought they were on a little bit of a hiatus. I don't think this was their choice. This was definitely because of Rain. In November of 2021, just two months after the release of the second mini album, Rain actually gave up the management of Cypher to another company. It was almost like he admitted that he couldn't do it and he just wanted to give it to someone else who knew what they were doing. And he actually admitted this. To be completely honest, this eight month hiatus did affect how I kind of viewed the group. When this third album came out, I did listen to the title track, but I wasn't really a huge fan of it. I much preferred the first two. I didn't even know that this had two versions, so I am quite looking forward to opening this up and having a look. Let's start with this yellow version. I hate yellow. <laughs> Just like orange. So we do have a little maze on the front here. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick, okay? I'm really sick. There's no songs on the back of this one. The other ones had the songs, right? The title track for this album was Fame, as you can see here. I actually didn't realize that it said Fame there. Let's open her up and see how we did. Oh my God, static. This has a little plastic sleeve around it. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of cool. It looks like that disappeared. Oh, oh my God, it looks so different on camera than it does to me. Now I just look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Should we do the maze? There's two entrances, so it must be, I feel like this is not an interesting thing to do on camera. Yeah, fuck doing the maze, can't we pull it? <laughs> Oh God, the inclusions are like right there. Hey. 
Oh my God, you're gonna love this. There's another one of these things. <laughs> guess who? Oh, actually, oh, it's not even guess who. It says who it is on the front. That's not as fun. This is, just seems like trash. Got a little uh, group card here. Maybe you could use it as a little bookmark. I have so many pieces of random cardboard with stuff on them. I don't know what to do with them. You literally went to an event in Japan to get cardboard. Don't start it. Okay. Yeah, but that was exclusive cardboard. <laughs> this thing, everyone has this. Not everyone, but everyone who bought the album has this. Not everyone has that cool Zero Base One merch that I got. Go watch that video. So surely there's nothing in here, right? Yeah, okay. That would be so dog. What if they give you extra shit? The code, it's actually got code here. I don't, is this actual code for letters? Boop, 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 boop. I don't know. Interesting concept. It's like country club, <laughs> I guess. Aw. Oh, I, just, <laughs> I had my head in the camera. <laughs> I wanted to see it closer. It's really cute. I'm like holding hands, like skipping in a field. Oh, interesting angle. There he is. Black hair, love that. With the wind turbine. What a environmental king. <laughs> oh my God, I say things and I'm just like, what the fuck am I talking about? What are you doing, man? Surely there's another section to this. Is this still country club? Oh, this is a little more, a little more street. Country club in the street. Oh, Alexander Wang, slay. Country club realness. Oh, secret message. I wonder if there's like, you know where you have to like put was it lemon juice to be able to see the messaging? That would be pretty cool. I doubt it's that sophisticated. Oh, but wait, hold on. There is actually a secret message on here and there's the code is here. Oh my God, cipher. Yeah, and you could A, A, oh, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't have time to work this out. I don't know where the spaces are. A, L, A-L-W. All right, we're not decoding this message right now. In our own time, in our own time. Let's have a little look, shall we? Hey, there he is. It already spoiled who it was. Juan. But that's kind of cool. The CD, should have looked at this first. Oh, it's kind of fancy. The coat, oh, this is covered in shit. That's oh, all right, just a bit of a smudge. And the photo cards. Okay, it looks like we've got a similar thing here. Actually, this feels like a lenticular card. Yes, that is definitely a lenticular. So we'll look at that first. Boom. Who have we got? I don't know who it is. But yeah, this is um, what you call a lenticular card that has the two images. When you move it, you can see the different images. Very reminiscent of uh, old little things you used to get in cereal boxes. I'm actually not a huge fan of these things. Just gives you something else you have to collect that kind of looks bad inside your um, like your album photo cards. I end up like taping them in to my folders so that they don't fly out. So yeah, I find them very annoying. Oh fuck. It has the names on the back of the photo cards. That is so dumb. All right, so surprise, surprise, we didn't pull Kata because it doesn't say unless it's a secret code and it's actually not that member and you have to look at it under a UV light. <laughs> no, okay. So we got Hyunbin! I guess he's my bias wrecker because we keep pulling him. But yeah, that's very cute. And then we got Tag! Oh, that's a weird photo card. I do not like that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever looked at a photo card and been like, I don't like that, but that is not it. Can you see that? Ugh. Yeah, right? It's weird. I don't know, he's got a really weird facial expression on. He's like, I don't like that. Maybe I need to do like a worst photo cards video and this will be like number one. Spoilers, <laughs> not a fan of that. Oh my God. Okay, not not great pulls here. Not great pulls here, guys. We didn't even get anything cater, but that's okay. That's okay. We still have one more album to go and I, I've got a good feeling. I've got a good feeling. All right, let's get into our last album. This is the dot version of the code. Pretty similar to the last one, but just green instead of yellow. I keep trying to like put my nail in there, but there's a plastic sleeve, so you have to do it in there. 
fucking idiot. I love opening albums. Is there anything more like serotonin releasing than opening up a fresh K-pop album? Okay, this is great. We can just take it all out in one swoop. Boom. Can we go, oh, it's got the same code maybe. Yeah, I think it is the same. White outfits in a red building. Oh, bit of archery action, I like that. I actually can't remember what this music video really was. So I'm sure there was some archery situation going on. This guy's kind of weird looking. Like not in a bad way, but. Ah! Gosh, he's just so cute. God, I hope we don't get any more weird tag photo cards in this one. One kind word. One of my favorite things is like the weird t-shirts that idols wear with English words. Or sometimes they wear like really wild shit. I feel like that could be a video in itself. Jeans and tees. Oh, bit of a little stomach slip there. Oh my God. I'm like in a barn or something. Like a hay bale behind them or something. <laughs> Very weird. So country club and then barn. That's the two concepts. CD first, which is not going to be super exciting. There we go. The code. Oh, you can see my face. <laughs> okay, we've got another group photo card. It's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Same, same. Boring. This piece of trash. And we got a secret message. 10. There he is. I don't understand. Oh, it's a very secret message. Oh, there we go. <laughs> It's like, it's such a secret message. He doesn't want me to open it. Yeah, I don't like how they've put the names of like who the inclusions are for. That just takes out the fun. So I've got to really try and like not read what these say right now. Let's look at the lenticular card first and see who we got. Oh my God, it's so dark. I can't see shit. Oh yeah, this is that guy again. My bias wrecker, this guy. Hyunbin, we got his lenticular. Yeah, that's too dark. I'm not a big fan of that. All right, wait, okay. Let's go, this one first. Tag, okay, we got tag again. This one isn't as bad as the other one though. He doesn't look so weird in this, but he still looks weird. What is wrong with this guy? I feel like we're pulling all the same members. Does not take a good photo card. Oh, what the hell? That's so upsetting. Oh, wait, I got mixed up. All right, and the last photo card for our unboxing is it was Kata, I'm gonna shit my pants. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't get up because everything's on the table. I, uh, I actually cannot believe that. Can we believe that everyone? I mean, you can believe it because you were reading the name before I got here, but I honestly, I did not look at the name. There we go, there he is. <laughs> oh my God. We did so well. Oh my God, it's like kind of damaged. Oh my God, I actually can't believe it. So here are my photo card pulls from all of Cypher's albums. I did pretty well, if I may say so myself. We pulled three Cater and I said that I was gonna shit my pants, but luckily I didn't like that person at the Hanteo Music Awards did. <laughs> I heard that, yeah, it might've been on purpose to like get attention. You seriously could not torture that information out of me. The fact that they did like a Twitter apology the day after is insane to me. So three out of four albums, I pulled him and it was even one from each comeback because these are from the same comeback. So to me, that's pretty lucky and I am very, very happy. Thank you for joining me while I unboxed every Cypher album. I had so much fun doing this unboxing and I'd love to do more with you if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like me to unbox next. Please consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh. Grog. <coughs> Only on it, hey? <sighs> <laughs> It's great. <laughs> Am I like the only person in Australia who doesn't like that? Yeah. He keeps saying live. By the time people watch it, it's not going to be live.
Well, he's not going to have changed heights, is he? Yeah, but you're not lying. Point of group that doesn't exist. They do exist. They're still technically together. I guess I have no idea what I'm going to say about these, but that's okay because I haven't seen them before. That's the whole point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hiding in, hiding in. Right, what am I supposed to do with that now? I was just going to sit there naked. 